originally doing a 50 pan. I've actually had 50 products go into this particular project. Not all of them have been used up, but 50 products did go through. Um, so I think that's pretty good. So I am going to run through everything, all 50 products that were in this particular project and let you know where they are, what my plans are for the future with them if they have not been used up. Um, and then the things that were finished up will be in an empties video at the end of the year. Um, I've just finished doing one empties video and now I'm refilling my basket with lots of project stuff. So um, I have all of the stuff in front of me. I just now have to locate particular items. Okay, first up we have a matte product. I had the Honolulu bronzer from W7. This is basically a knockoff of one of the other brands. That's what W7 does. It does knockoffs of other ones. Um, this actually got broken at some stage. So there's a big chunk out of this side. But I was actually using it as eyeshadow in the end, which is how I managed to hit that teeny tiny little bit of pan. And then I took it out of the project. I will probably um, put it amongst my eyeshadows and use it up eventually as an eyeshadow. Um, it is the wrong colour for me really. Not that I really bronze and contour a whole lot, um, but it's probably just a bit too dark for me to do that with anyway. So this is not going anywhere except back into my collection. Uh, my next one was a favourite eyeshadow to hit pan and that was this eyeshadow here from the That's Heart palette. Um, I have not touched it since, basically I haven't touched this palette since much, I don't think. Again, this is just going to go back into my collection. Um, it may be that it gets pulled out to, like this one here, I might aim to finish up in one of the other projects that I'm actually going to be doing next year. I have a whole bunch of projects for next year. so. We'll see. It's part of the reason I'm finishing this now is so I can finish doing my inventory um, and include all of these products that I haven't finished off because none of those are in my inventory currently or my new inventory currently. And if you're curious, I use Airtable to do my inventory on, which is a cloud-based um, spreadsheet type of dealio. Um, it's actually really, really good. You can have, you can divide things up really nicely and. Um, yeah, so that's actually what I'm using. There's a free version of it where you don't have to pay any money. There is a paid version, but you don't have to use that. Um, I'm only using the free version, and I've managed to catalogue all of my nail polishes. Well, most of my nail polishes, um, and almost all of my makeup so far. So uh, next we have the Mac lipstick in Vegas Vault. Um, I'm actually wearing it today with another lipstick from a different collection, a uh, different project. Um, that is how much I've got left. I I don't think I used anywhere near as much as I thought I was going to over the course of the year. I probably used just under a centimetre of product. There's actually a fair amount of product in one of these MAC lipsticks. It's not going anywhere. It still feels, smells fine, works fine. It's just going back on my face at some point. But it's going back in my collection for now. The next one was a product that cost less than $2. Um, I put in this Lowell blush. Um, I was only working on the lighter peachy side here. My goal was to hit pan. I did that. I actually put it into another project afterwards for the end of that project uh, to get a bit more use out of it. I'm actually really happy with how well I went with that. Blushes are notoriously difficult to get through. Um, I clearly haven't finished it. It will go back into rotation. These are actually ridiculously good blushes for the price. These are literally like one or two dollars in Australia, which is bloody cheapish anything. Um, but it's actually a really, really nice blush. So if you're in Australia and you're looking for something that has got pigment and goes on nicely and blends nicely, these are actually really, really good. Next, we have the 
W7 Photo Shoot Foundation. I decluttered this one. It just wasn't working for me. This is in buff. Um, I used probably half of it. Um, yeah. I wouldn't buy that one again. A lot of the W7 stuff I really, really like. That particular foundation was not one of them. Uh, then I have... The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I actually really, really like this mascara. Um, I end, It's not really finished, but I ended up with a really bad case of styes. Like, I got three styes in the space of, um, like, two months. Um, sort of, like, one after the other. Um, so this was one of the products that I ended up getting rid of um, just to be safe. But I actually really like this Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. And I would buy it again if I could afford to. Yeah, in Australia, not the cheapest product. The Harvey Prince Damask Rose um, Perfume Sample. I'm not a big perfume wearer, but this one was fine. I would wear a perfume like that without any problem whatsoever. It was, it was fine. Um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, um, this was a YouTube hype product, um, yeah, maybe now that I've got a pencil sharpener that actually fits it, I might actually get some use out of this thing, but, um, yeah, it'll just go back into my collection, uh, it was one that I took out because I just wasn't getting anywhere with it, just getting frustrated. Then we had the Grace Cole Pineapple and Passion Fruit Hand Cream. When I started this project, it was basically full. Um, I only used it for this project down to about halfway-ish, somewhere like around here. Then I put it in another project, um, which got me down to basically down around here. And I have continued to use it, and it's getting to the point it's harder to get out of the, like to pump it out. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this actually finished by the end of the year. I'm just going to keep on using it until it is gone. And I would buy that again if I could get hold of it because I love the smell of it. The Neon & Co. Treatment Oil. I don't know. I don't know that it did anything. It's just a... It was more like water. Um, Suntivity SPF 30 Ultra Light Face Fluid. Do not recommend this stuff. It is super duper runny. Smells like Elmer's glue. I hated it. That's why I didn't finish it. Because I hated it. The Organic Care Fig and Papaya Body Wash. It was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It was fine. I teeny um, swizzle stick eyeliner in Midnight Cowboy Cowgirl. Um, this busted, and then I lost the end of it at some point. Right, another product used up. Um, another one that hasn't quite been finished off, but um, I will insert pictures to show you the progress over the whole of this year. Uh, pretty much the whole of this year. Actually, I think this was one of the first things I added in after finishing other project products. This is the Essence Eyebrow Stylus. I think I mentioned last time that I'll probably be just getting rid of this at the end of the year. I haven't 100% decided. It's very... camera very thin there on the edge there um, and I really like this product so I may well just finish off that top one I don't use the bottom half because it's basically just too dark so I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with that one yet whether I will get rid of it um, I have lots of eyebrow products so it's not like it's going to be a problem Nivea Day Cream, easy finish off. It's a fine product. I would definitely buy that one again. The 
High Lift Cure Plex Bond Sustainer. This is basically a, a cheaper version of Old Plex. It was fine. This little bottle lasted me over a month. It was great. The Starbucks Ultra Olive Eye Pencil. I didn't finish it, um, but I probably used about almost half the pencil. This was a really long pencil that was like out here. Um, yeah, and it's actually one of the only greeny colored pencils I have left. So clearly just going to go back into my collection. <laughs> Uh, the Rimmel Vinyl Max Hypnotic, uh, this has been decluttered, I've actually also decluttered the two other ones I had of this for the same reasons that I didn't like this one, it's like a stingy, burny kind of sensation, did not enjoy. Maybelline Colossal Volume Express, not 100% there's still some in there, but I had it open for more than six months um, and was using it fairly regularly, so that one is gone. It's a fine mascara. I did not mind it at all. Australis Mint Condition Lip Gloss. This is another declutter. I found it dried my lips out. It's actually supposed to be moisturizing, and it did not moisturize at all. It just dried them out. The Avon La Femme um, fragrance, which I had like a whole bunch of little ones, I think it was like five little ones, I decanted them into this atomizer thingy that I have, which is now not spraying anything. Um, it was fine. I probably wouldn't fork out for it, but it was fine. The W7 Pink Lipstick. It's just a teeny tiny little pink lipstick. I'm actually going to declutter this item. I rarely reach for it. I'm not a huge fan of the formula. It's quite slippy. It's a bit messy. Um, but yeah, I didn't pay a huge amount for it either. And I have plenty of other pink lipsticks in my collection to not actually need this particular one. So that is another one that is going. I'll just mark that on my handy dandy list. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I had to take the stopper out of it today. Uh, it's hard to see, but it's literally all the way down here. There's a bit on the sides, but uh, yeah, I had to take the stopper out. Now, of course, it has heaps on it, but I was having trouble getting product to do my makeup today, so I will finish that one off. I've already re that one, so <laughs> clearly I liked it. The Inglot face powder was supposed to be highlighted, probably a bit too dark for that for me. Um, it was in strips, but it was kept getting hard pan, so I crushed it up and repressed it. Um, and now it actually works a lot better than it did before. Another one that will just go back in the collection. The Lon Vita Light C1 face mask. It was just a face mask. The Cura Cherish Hand Cream. I loved the smell of this one. It's delightful. I would totally rebuy this one if I could get it. The Chapstick Hydration Lock Balm. This is a double-ended one. I finished off both ends of this puppy. The Rimmel Scandalize Liquid thick, thin eyeliner. This this was terrible. Never worked properly. This was brand new and I had so much trouble with it. I just, I just couldn't. The Maybelline Very Cherry Lipstick. This is another declutter. This is super duper old. It was starting to like basically get dry and yeah. Um, the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow thing, I basically got rid of this because it had got to the point where I just, 
can stand looking at it because it's so brown and manky, which I know is just from the powders, but so Susan Flutter Mascara. Um, I had heard a lot of people say how terrible this was and that it stank really bad and everything. I didn't find that it stank really bad, it was just useless. L'Oreal Lip Liner. Uh, this has this much left in it. Um, I probably didn't use as much of it as I probably should have, but I actually finished other lip liners this year, so I'm not upset at all. The eyeshadow um, from this palette here, this was about half used and I finished it up. That was overtime. This is the Models Prefer Shadows palette. Um, the palette itself will just go back in my collection. The Swiss Rose Hip Facial Moisturizer. It was fine, nothing special, just a moisturizer. Maybelline Shadow Stick in Touch of Toffee. I basically ended up getting rid of all of the ones I had of these because they just don't work. They just don't work for me. So The eyeshadow pigment. Um, this is Obscure from Glamadol Eyes. I love this. I've been using this every time I do my makeup. I use it as my transition colour my first colour. It's one of those ones you can put on really lightly and get a light wash of colour or you can build it up and it gets quite, some, quite intense so you can do like a one shadow look. I actually have a video where I basically did that. I'll leave it in down below. Um, absolutely love this. We'll continue to use. The Benefit Professional. If I had remembered to use this today it would be gone. There's literally one use left in this little puppy here. I'm almost 100% certain I've got to like squeeze it really hard to get anything out of it. I'm not a fan. Not going to be buying that one. Uh, what from Kat Von D's Metal Matte Palette. That's actually what I'm wearing on my eyelids today. That is this colour right here. I really like the, I like Nebula and Watt from this palette a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. That one is clearly another one that's going back into my collection. The Alme Black Brown Eyeliner. I used this again today. This this will not die. However, this is going to be tossed now. It's been open. It says six months on here. It's been open a lot longer than that. Been used for a lot longer than that. Um, refuses to die. Um, but it's time for it to go. The Body Shop Foundation I do not have in front of me. Uh, I gave it to my daughter. <laughs> it's too dark for me. Her skin tone's a little bit darker than mine, but it was too dark for me, and I didn't like the way that it looked on my skin. I got it from Tamara J. Did not like how it sat on my skin, so I gave it to my daughter. The Jordana Quick Liner for Eyes. I've used it a few times. Um, there's still heaps in here. This is just another one that will go back in my collection of black eyeliners, of which there are quite a few. The SC Apricot Cuticle Oil. I do not like this stuff. It is terrible. It does not moisturize cuticles. Actually, it dries them out. So it's actually going. The LOL First Prize Eyeliner. This is a gold eyeliner. I'm wearing under my eyes today. I literally have that much left. A little tiny bit left. Um, I will probably just continue to use that until it's gone. The uh, Palmer's and uh, Naturalus Moisturizer Samples. That were fine. Um, the Amy Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish, I probably have like one use left in there. It's actually quite nice. It actually smells really nice, um, which is probably 
one of the, it's got um, some citrus and prunus in it, and I think that's probably what makes it smell really nice, but I actually really enjoyed, I'm really enjoying using that. Um, as I said, it's actually nearly finished. The, just realised I missed a few things. I can tell because they're in the basket next to me. Um, the Mercura Power Serum. I've had so many of those that I've been using up this year. Uh, the Derma E Purifying 2 in 1 Charcoal Mask. It was fine. It's not my favourite. They're messy as anything, those ones. Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish. It looks like there's heaps in there, but there's not. And it all kind of like dried up and went crusty. I actually ended up quite liking this one. Essie's not actually my favourite brand. I haven't had a lot of um, luck with that particular brand. The Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Moisturising Lip Balm. I loved this so much. My partner loved this one. I've actually bought another one. I haven't started using it, but I did buy it. So that is it for this project. I actually used up or hit pan or decluttered 40 of the items that of the 50 items that went into this particular project, which I think is pretty bloody good actually. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, that 40 includes these two which are almost finished, like literally like one use each in both of those. Um, I didn't include this one, that would make 41 because it's almost done as well. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty good for the year um, using that much product up. Um, so all of these things will be in my next empties video where I will actually put a price on it, which I haven't worked out yet. So um, yeah, so that is it for this Project Pan Roulette. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.